मेरा नाम है श्रीमन कौर तो आज मैं लगाने वाली हूँ जॉन स्कूल की फ्री डेमो क्लास जो मैं लगाऊंगी लोजी मैं तो चलिए अभी मैं एक डेमो क्लास को ज्वाइन करती हूँ और एक और बात आप इसको ज्वाइन करने से पहले अपना माइक और कैमरा जरूर चेक कर लेना अगर अब वहाँ पर आपने चेक नहीं किया तो ऐसा ना हो कि आपका माइक और कैमरा चले ही ना और आपका सारी ऑनलाइन क्लास ऐसे ही चले जाए तो इसी के लिए पहले आप अभी चेक कर लीजिए तो चलिए अभी मैं अपनी इस डेमो क्लास को ज्वाइन कर लेती हूँ The princess has identified some pattern in the numbers that made the secret code of the law. So tell me, Zaria, what pattern did you make the sequence? What it's pattern? It's a table of four. I'm sorry. It's a table of four. It's a table of four. Okay. Remember, what do you think this pattern represents? Um, we need to identify the pattern this sequence represents. What pattern is this? Five, six, seven, eight, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and so on. Are this number in the sequence in each row? Yes. These numbers. Yeah, we see that number on each row is one more than the previous number, isn't it? And yes. Yeah. So what are these numbers called, Levan? Any idea? What are these numbers called? These numbers are called consecutive numbers. Such numbers are called consecutive numbers. Okay. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Yeah. Okay. So let's connect the consecutive numbers and help the princess escape the grave. I start with Riman. Riman, you use your index finger. Place it. Place it on the screen on number one. And start connecting the numbers consecutively. One, two, three, four, five, six, five, seven, eight, nine. Super. Good job. Sorry, I yawned on now. Place your finger on one. One, two, three. Well, and we see that both the times the path travel was different. This time it's even going to be little. There is a twist in this way. So this time I want both of you uh, connecting the numbers using your finger. Okay, both of you together. Come on. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. We see that a uh, princess has to travel all the way around, right, left, right, back, in all the directions, right? We have to observe here. The princess is observing the last two grids that she crossed. Now, what can you say about the path followed? What can you say about the path? How are uh, how is the path in the fourth grade different from the second one? The first one is starting from one. The second one is starting from nine. Superb, Zaria. So, what will the first one called? 
the path traveled in first way will be called as forward path. When you start from one, it's forward path. And when you start from nine, it is which path? Nine back path. Backward path. Yes. forward path from one to nine. Now, uh, how do we decide? How will you decide whether to take a forward path or a backward path? How will you take this decision? Now, now, this is start from one, forward. Okay, Zarya says that we'll start from one. Oh no, Trivan said this, right? And yes. Yeah. So, uh, what does Zarya have to say about it? Should I take forward or a backward path? Which is backward. Okay, Zarya has a different answer. Now, let's see is there a way we can make this uh, decide, I mean, make this decision simple? We can do one thing we can see the numbers present and the numbers missing in the grid. And accordingly, we'll take a decision. So, let's see, this is a sequence of missing numbers. We would first circle the starting and the ending point in the sequence. Let's circle them. Starting point is 1 and ending point is 9. I circle. Now, look at the numbers that are present in the grid. Which numbers are present? Ma'am, 1, 2, 3, one, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. All the numbers are present here in the grid. 1, 2, 9, 7, and 6. Uh, we won't consider 1 and 9 because they are always there. And I have already circled them. So we are just left with 2, 6, and 7 now. Okay? Okay? And yes. So we cancel the numbers that are present. See, I cancelled it. 2, 6 and 7. They were already present. Now, you can easily have a look here which numbers are missing. And 3, 4, 5 and 8. 5 and 8. Correct. So the numbers before 5, these are earlier numbers. The numbers after 5 are the later numbers. So which numbers are mostly missing? The early numbers are mostly missing or the later numbers? Later numbers. Only one later number is missing. No, only 8 is missing. 3, 4 and 5. Earlier numbers. Correct. So when earlier numbers are missing, you have to take backward part. And if later numbers are missing, you have to take forward part. So will you remember this, both of you? And yes. Easy to remember. Okay. So, Trivan, read this. The earlier numbers in the sequence are missing. We will take the backward part. Correct. So, Zarya, your answer was correct. Good job. Now, uh, who will do this exercise with me? Ma'am. Who wants to do this exercise? Okay. Yeah, Kriman, you want to do? Ma'am, yes. Okay, Kriman. Tell me which number should I circle first? Ma'am, one. One and nine both. Starting and ending point. Okay. Now, which number should I cancel? Ma'am, four, two and eight. Four, two and eight. So, which numbers are missing now in the sequence? Ma'am, three, five, six and seven. Super. So, are these mostly earlier numbers or the later numbers? Ma'am, later numbers. Later numbers. Good job. So, should we take a forward path or a backward path? Ma'am, backward. If later numbers are missing, then we have to take which path, Sarya? Sarya? 
Zaria? Forward path. Yes, forward path. If earlier numbers are missing, then we take backward path. But if later numbers are missing, we have to take forward path. Read this, Srimad. The later numbers in the sequence are missing. We will take the forward path. Super. So, uh, Zarya starts connecting the numbers. One. One, two, three, four, five. Five. Besides four. Besides four. If I place here, it will go wrong. So yeah, besides four. Then six, seven, six, seven eight, eight, and nine. nine. Good job. Okay, this time Trimen will do. I'm okay. Come on, Trimen, place your finger on one. Nine. Two, then we go to three, then four. Where should I place four? Then above the two. Okay, yeah. Then five, mm -hmm. then six, mm -hmm. then seven. Mm -hmm. Then eight, mm -hmm. nine. Where should I place nine? Then see if I place nine here, then I cannot place ten and eleven here. This is the only option I have for 9. So that I can take this part after 9. I can come down, go up again. So where will 9 come? Up. Mama. Right? Yeah. Then I can place 10 and 11. 11. Then 12. 12. Yeah. 13, then 14, then 15. Super. Then 16. So good. Yeah, and 16. So good job, both of you. Good job. Now let's see what happened after this. Are you all excited to see what happened now? Ma'am, yes. Yes. Yeah, see. Here stands our princess. So the brave princess in front of the yes, dragon. The dinosaur. Yeah, she killed the dragon. And now she is called the warrior princess. She's a warrior. Brave, strong. Right? Okay, uh, let's think logically and build our IQ, intelligent quotient. We'll remember all these things now. Okay? This is what we observe. We uh, all traveled so many drills. You all traveled forward path, backward path, then you all keep, you all kept connecting numbers 1 to 9, 1 to 16, and so on. So this is what we observe, that when a number is placed here in the center, how many cells does it have access to around it? How many cells can it access to? Ma'am A. Yes. Is it A? Yes, it's eight. There are eight empty boxes around it. Right? So if a number is here in the center, if the next number, the consecutive number, 
can be placed in any of his eight boxes or eight cells. Okay, Zaria, tell me if a number is placed here in the corner, how many cells it can access to? Eight. If a number is here in the corner, how many adjacent cells are there? Teacher, eight. I can only Okay, Freeman, what is your answer? Freeman, you three. have to look at the screen and answer. Ma'am, three. Three. Because there are only three uh, cells around this. Sorry, yeah, you can see this, right? Yes. One, two and three. Only three empty cells. It cannot go to the other cells. Because it can only take one step at a time, right? Yeah. Now, if a number is placed at the edge, Sariya, tell me how many cells can it access to? Five. Yes. Now, you have the right answer. Good job, both of you. And thank you so much. Did you enjoy the session? Yes. Ma'am, yes. Okay. Okay. अभी मेरी क्लास हो गई खत्म तो आज की स्टेमो क्लास में मैम ने मुझे बताया मैथ में कॉन्सिक्यूटिव नंबर्स के बारे में तो वो तो मुझे पहले से याद रहते तो उसमें इन्होंने कोडिंग का भी ऑप्शन दिया था जो मैंने नहीं ज्वाइन किया क्योंकि मुझे कोडिंग तो पहले से ही आती थी तो अगर आपको इस बियॉन्ड स्कूल की डेमो क्लास अच्छी लगी है तो आगे आपका डिसीजन है कि आप इसको परमानेंटली ज्वाइन करना चाहते हैं या फिर नहीं